And as you can see, we've been joined by Pam Duggan, who is Mark's mother, and she has asked us to say that as far as she's concerned, this verdict is perverse. Can perverted. I ask, ask you to step, step forward a little bit? I mean, how are you feeling tonight? Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. Did you just speak to the police now over there no, when they came out? I don't want to speak to you. Because they've said they want to speak to you. No. Why? What for? Why did they want to speak to me? They all know they, one of them killed my son. Wherever, what station, wherever, they killed my son. They didn't want to speak to her on the day they, they killed her. They didn't come and tell me my son was dead till four weeks later. Then they come with the um, commander of commissioner of police to say sorry that they never come and told me. That's why I was in messed up because they didn't know it was true my son was dead or alive. And so, what, what is the next step for you? Have you been able to even think about what you will do now I when you say you will fight I'm on? I'm going to fight for as long as I live. Because I know my son is not capable of what they're saying he's doing. No way. He's had six children there crying. His brother that's devastated, and me, I've gone through hospital and out of hospital, and this is stress because of what I've done to my son. It, it was here in 2011, in that August, where a lot of that unrest began. Well, it I led to the... the don't ask Pamela about that. I, wasn't I, I, I want to ask you, I mean, there are people gathered out here tonight. What, what's your message to people out here on the streets? Mark was killed. Mark was killed, right, and everyone that's got a child, whatever colour, whatever age, take care of him, because they're not going to stop. They're getting away with too much. That's someone's child, that's my child. Then I lost his father. So everybody that's got a child, even if they haven't got a child, lock up your children. That's all I can say, because my son's an innocent and I've been to court every day, every day, every day, and hospital. They're harassing my younger son now, by the way. Is that right to say that? They're harassing my younger son now, the only one I've got left. You, you, you once said that Mark was no angel. You what what did you mean by that? Do you know that? what? Yeah, I'll tell you what I mean. <coughs> I'm no angel. You come here so the You're no angel. The man. You don't want to live on yeah. the aftermath of what yeah. is in people's minds. You're no angel, are you? Right? No. Can you what answer you want me? To hear about Not, none of us are. Right. right. Well, that's what I said. I didn't say he's done anything, but nobody's an angel. So, 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 so your words have been misinterpreted? Yes. Like a lot of things have been. The media talk crap. Can I. Uh, I'm sorry, I've just, I, I, I've just I, I, said enough. I'm sure a lot of people understand your, your, your feelings and your feelings about the media as well. This is one but of Mark's little ones that don't know where his daddy is, really. Well, look, I, thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, and for talking to us tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you all go now because uh, I, I, I know you've yeah, got, man, you uh, don't see you've got things to do and a lot of people right, gathering right. here. So thank you all very much indeed I mean, for coming and out and talking. Another thing is, right, you know, We've got all these boys growing up in the family. This one doesn't know where his dad is. He's got the March children out of six. No, do, do the police understand what they've done when they took my son? And, now, and why is it they want to speak to me? Well, they, I, I, I asked them, them that sorry, tonight. All I and... need them to do, leave me and my family alone because we're not troubling nobody and definitely not troubling them. No, thank, thank you. you on that. Sorry. Well, thank you all very much indeed for coming out and talking to us. Well, uh, that's it from Tottenham for now. After the break, we'll have more reaction and analysis from here. The area where Mark Duggan lived and where the riots of 2011 began following his death.